guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is zoe love you mary you know me from ZA reptiles on instagram and twitter so today is much awaited reptile room video my reptile room is my bedroom so it's also kind of like a bedroom tour too i guess but the last one i did was during my zoomist series in december so a lot has changed since then um if you follow me on social media you know quite a few of the changes but i finally wanted to film a video of everything the whole room in one um because a lot of you also may know that i have had several interviews for keeper jobs now and i will hopefully be moving out soon so it's maybe the last room tour we have in this room we'll see have to get the jobs first but I am leaving today for the Saratoga Expo tomorrow morning. Um, so I wanted to film this video before leaving so that I would have something to do in my Airbnb. So I'll be editing this video tonight in my Airbnb. So if you remember my last room tour, which was for Christmas, then you'll remember my room was quite crowded and a mess. I'm happy to announce I have severely gotten it under control. Okay, so we'll start with the door. So this hasn't changed much since the last video. I still have my calendar and on my calendar I have my list of animals, when they eat, what they eat, and then just my calendar. Like when the snakes ate and everything. Over here we have my little shelves, which used to be what I kept my baby snakes in at school. Now they're on the shelving unit, so this is for other things. I just have like headbands, uh, beauty, and Advil, stuff like that. Um, electronics down there. And then fish and Easter and St. Patrick's Day stuff that has to go downstairs. So just ignore it, it's not there. And my snake plant that I'm hoping will finally grow. Since I'll water it without worrying about it leaking since I finally have a tray for it. And then you've got my mirror with my decoration that needs to go to the basement, but for some reason it's up here. By the way, this sign is my life. You know, then we've got my closet with all of just some quotes and life mottos and whatnot on it. We're just not gonna talk about it, okay? It's not there. We're just not gonna talk about my closet. So then we'll move over here to my bed. The shelves at the end and the little nightstand table thing because obviously I can't have that next to my bed because my shelves. So it's at the end of my bed. And so this is new from the last time you saw it. This used to be by the window, now it's down here. Um, so I've got my light sign, which actually I'm going to turn on. Just kidding. Oh, oh, nope. The oh, uh, batteries are kind of still working. So I've got that. Well, no, the batteries are going to die. We're going to shut off. But yes, yeah, so welcome to the zoo. Only appropriate. This little snake plant that's just kind of going nuts. Um, the sign, my favorite, my favorite box sign. Then we run down, I've got my snake sheds and whatnot. Uh, I've got my basket that says fish, even though it's reptile. And I have my scale in here, all of my, uh, my gecko foods, my bee pollen, my calcium, my vitamins. Everything is in that bin. Random stuff, speaker, more random stuff. Um, under here I have my basket of towels and blankets for Arcadius, you know, plant, book, random stuff, water bottle, bed. Um, my wall next to my bed has some things you might recognize, and that is crooked and going to drive me nuts. That's better. So is that one. But I'm not calling me on my bed to fix it. Uh, so you guys might recognize this stuff from my cruise haul video. I basically got everything lizard related when we were on our cruise and just decided to hang it all up because why not and then we're gonna zoom this way so these are the shelves that I got for Christmas so you guys did see these in my last room tour but stuff has changed so let's start at the top I've got you know random stuff art supplies um, extra fish tank, extra domes, and heat pads. Um, I've just got some little curry keepers. Moving on down, you know, I've got all of my skating medals hanging on the side here. 
Um, then we've got Snicket, my ball python, Crikey, my jeweled Lacerda, Crikey. Want to say hi for everybody? Say hello. He's waiting for breakfast. Then we run down and we've got Phoenix, my corn snake, who is hiding in her basket right now. Uh, we've got an empty tank. Move on down, we've got Tinsel, my sunbeam, who, by the way, in case you don't follow me on social media, finally broke her four month feeding strike and she's been eating great now. So next up is to switch her to Frozen Thawed. And then we've got my Cricket Bin, which I'm really hoping to get rid of here soon as soon as my Dubia start breeding. So I can't wait to get rid of that bin because you guys know how much I hate crickets. And then next to him is my Milk Snake. So this is a new setup you guys haven't seen yet. He actually just moved into this whole setup right here. He was on newspaper for a while while I was monitoring his health. So now he's got a full blown enclosure. You can kind of see him. Right, right there, right, right, right there. Um, underneath, I have mealworm containers. So I have a new mealworm container, the old one. They just keep pulling mealworms out of once the babies actually get big enough for me to find. Spray bottle, and then we've got Eugene, my chameleon. Hanging out, waiting for breakfast. Not too thrilled. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm disturbing you. I'm sorry. But, so that's Eugene's enclosure. I want to get more front coverage here, but I have to figure that out. I did have some pothos coming out here, but he kept pulling them out and they're in rough shape now. So I pulled them out and trying to bring them back to life. I've got another plant that's gone through some rough times, but we're turning it around. And I got Arcadius's cat tree, or I should call it the iguana tree. We can sit up on this perch with his stuffed giraffe and watch the world outside. Um, underneath I've got my cleaning bucket which really doesn't have a place. Um, same with, well I guess that's kind of a place now, my water jug. But yeah, my cleaning bucket just kind of floats around my room. Same with my trash can. And I get my newest addition, this lovely plant that I picked up from Home Depot for like $13. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then of course you guys have all seen Arcadius's enclosure, my green iguana who is blue. So nothing has changed there. I still have all of my extra reptile supplies down here. My recycling which really needs to get taken out. Jewelry thing which I don't use but it holds his humidifier. And then I move over here. Oh, I've got, ignore those. Those are drying because I quickly cleaned his glass before this video so you can actually see him. Uh, he kind of smelted it up like crazy. So those are drying now. Um, also, if you've been around a while, you might remember I had lots of these sticking up to hide him on the top shelf. Uh, yeah, he went kind of nuts during breeding season so they ended up coming loose and a lot of them fall fell off. These two finally fell off as well. So I just took them out. So I really need to put them back up again but yeah oops all right so I've got my shelves this is where my desk used to be before I started getting reptiles so, so I have shelves up here um, I've got some of my books and whatnot down here I've got more personal items so I've got this awesome bowl that I keep all of my chapsticks and whatever these are called, hand sanitizers in, so I don't lose them because I know everyone loses those, right? Um, some painting, this is the penguin painting. Uh, this is Arcadius's very first painting. Um, got some ibis feathers. And lots of stuff. So on here I've got, you know, random crap. This was painted by elephants. So of course I wanted to find a use for it, so I have Sharpies and highlighters in there. Oh, and I didn't even think about the fact they put an elephant pencil in there. How ironic. Uh, I've got a plant that's kind of, I don't know, it's been having a rough time. Um, just some beauty stuff. So I've got lots of lotions. 
a fish tank with no fish, but I've got lots of plants inside, so I'm just letting it do its thing. Uh, these, <laughs> these are the pothos from Eugene's Enclosure that I don't think are making a comeback, but I'm giving them a shot. Alright, and then the newest part of my room is my second shelf that I set up, I don't know, a week ago now. Um, if you missed that and you want to see that process, I did put a video up of that. But this is it. Nothing has really changed from that video. I mean, I've got these plants on top. And I've got my gecko. So I've got Pip and I've got Yeti. Yeti is my toke gecko. Um, so you might be wondering why I have this sitting over here. And it's because Yeti's nose issues have come back. So we're trying to see if we can get them to go away again like they did last time. But yeah, so we're dealing with that, but Yeti, Pip, and then we've got Penelope, Tootsie, so my two baby snakes, Dubia, Bin, Meal, no not Mealworms, Superworms, Springtails, Feeding Cups and Feeding Tongs, and that's just oatmeal for the worms. So that's the newest part. If you guys have been here a while, you'll remember there was a dresser like this but like this size here and I hated it it was too cluttered there was too much furniture here I needed it to go so wanting this second shelf to keep me better organized was quite a motivator for getting rid of a lot of clothes so I got rid of a lot of clothes moved the dresser to the basement brought this up or bought this set it up and now I'm getting ready to leave for an expo so I'll take all the clothes to Plato's closet get some money so I don't feel quite so bad spending money at this expo. Alright, so now that you've seen the room, let's talk about upgrade plans. Because I did tweet, I said that in this video I would do a reptile room tour and I would talk to you guys about my top secret upgrade plans that I've talked about a little bit and I've hinted at here and there, but I haven't really just told you guys what the plans are. So first and foremost, I do have a lot of builds planned. Um, I am keeping my eyes out on Craigslist and whatnot for actual like already built tanks or maybe some nice exoterras, but I have not seen anything and those that I have seen have been ridiculously expensive. So I do have building plans in place, um, so I am saving up to do that. So. I want all of my snakes and a front opening enclosure. So that is like the big picture. So Phoenix and Zero, my corn snake and my milk snake. I would like to get them in nice big front opening tanks. For example, right now Phoenix, my corn snake, is in a 40 breeder and I do like the size. Um, however, I would like it maybe a little longer. It could also probably be a little shorter to save room. Um, because, I don't know, she doesn't really use the full height, but I would like to see it a little longer, a tiny bit deeper, just so that it really fills that shelf, but that's kind of where I want to go for that, um, and again with the front opening, that allows me to drop my shelves down more to make better use of them, and then actually use the top shelf for an animal, maybe, um, but right now I have to leave a lot of space in between each shelf because I have to be able to get in to the enclosures, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. So that's kind of a general thing, I want all the snakes in nice big front opening enclosures, preferably PVC, um, preferably white PVC. So we'll see how that goes, it's going to be some money, so we're going to we're gonna slowly but surely start working on that here soon. Um, Crikey, my jeweled Lacerda is another one, I want him in a nice big front opening PVC enclosure or something like that. Um, jeweled Lacerda's do need a lot of space. They should have big large enclosures. Right now he's in the 30 gallon but he's still growing so I do have some time to do that but he is going to need that soon so that is in the plans. What are you doing? I'm pretty sure a lot of you know that I plan on moving Yeti, my Toka Gecko, into a 20 long enclosure turned upwards with a converter on the front. Um, so that's probably one of the first things I do when I move out of here. I want to set that up and I would like to go bioactive with it. Um, that is another thing I'd like to start making my enclosures bioactive as I start upgrading them. So I probably won't do it to a lot of them now, but when they get new enclosures, I plan on making them bioactive. 
Pip for right now, my Cassie Gecko, she is staying in her exoterra enclosure. She's still very little, um, but when the time comes, she will also move into probably a 20 gallon turn sideways as well. Ideally, down the road, I would like to do a really big enclosure for Yeti, like a 40 breeder turn sideways or something crazy like that, or maybe like the 30 gallon that Crikey won't be in anymore. Uh, something like that would be super cool. Um, she is having nose problems again. I think I mentioned that, I don't remember what video it was, um, but she has some nose problems. Um, they went away, but now they're back again. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens with that. So we're gonna kind of wait it out and see what happens with that. And then we have my little snakes over here, the two babies. When they get a little bigger, I do have plans for them. Um, I don't want to talk about that too much though because that I'm very excited about and would rather just save all that for a video for you guys instead of spoiling it now because um, I am very excited about their upgrades. They're going to be in the same size tank. It will be for an opening. Um, that's all I'm going to say because I am really excited about it but I'm going to save that for a video so I don't spoil that for you guys. And then Eugene and Arcadius are staying the same, nothing's changing with them. Um, Tinsel, my sunbeam, is doing much better in her new tub that she's in, so I'm going to leave her in that. I'm not going to mess with her. Um, and that is it. Yeah, that is it. So now you guys have seen my room. You've kind of got an update on what the plans are from here. And... I'm going to finish packing and get on the road because I have a four hour drive ahead of me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you for the next one.